part two of the Malaysian man arrested for strangling a nurse and um, trying to have sex with a corpse. So basically, I guess the title will be part two of uh, Malaysian man kills nurse. So when you text that, type that, James, Malaysian man kills nurse. So let me um, let me drop this down for y'all real quick. I kind of when I went through this thing, you know, I only read it once, but I kind of can relate to the old dude with some of the um, things they said. All right, so he was ashamed that he was 47 years old and he was single, all right, that he didn't have any children. And I can relate to that because I'm 46 and I have had a horrible life. Not so horrible that I would go and kill a girl for it, but I've had a horrible life. Now... She rejected the sexual advances, but yet she took all of his money. I'm not justifying this, all right? So she was 28 years old, and he was 47. He assumed that they were in a relationship, and she was not clarified that they were not, and that she was just taking his money. I kind of can understand why he did it. I don't think it was the right thing to do. I damn sure don't condone it, but I've also had this happen to me. I got catfished. Not too long after my dad died, and I lost a lot of money. I lost a fucking lot of money. On a girl who promised to come to America from the Philippines, marry me, and we could start rebuilding the fortune that I spent on her ass together. So not only did she make me like a very big fucking liar, but she took me for everything that I had left. And that kind of sucks. But unlike this young lady... I never made contact with her to have a jealous rage. I just told the girl to not contact me anymore. So basically, I got the shit played out of me by women more than most of my life. I've been played by women. I don't want to be played anymore, you know? I don't want to be hurt anymore by women. I'm straight, so it's easier for women to fuck with me because I'm also ugly. And so me being ugly and stupid, I kind of felt that this beautiful girl would love me or learn to love me and I had been heartbroken for so long that I became an idiot and gave this girl a fuck ton of money. So she's another person in a long list of people that I will no longer be fucking um, ever helping out and I've had some issues with women. If I had the money that I gave the people when my dad died, I'd be in fairly good shape living wise. I'd be able to do things and still live, live comfortably and work. And um, I wouldn't have my own house or anything. But, you know, I'd be able to successfully um, maintain, you know, and be able to, um, I'd be able to do the things I want to do with what's left of my life. Had I not been catfished, hell, I'm going to be honest, if my dad hadn't died, I'd be okay. But being that my dad died in time, um, in 2015, you know, if this starts the fourth year of his death, it started back in March, but, you know, um, it's just the, the principle of how I let myself fall for this. So I understand how Bo Sung Ho fell for this shit. Now, he went about this the wrong way. He went about this the wrong way by murdering the girl because he thought they were in a relationship. She would, um, not take his sexual advantage advantages because it says here um well damn <laughs> this um happened the year after my father died in march 2016 um she rejected his sexual advances and told him about other relationships with other men that's some shit that you know i love women and i'm about to piss all of y'all off but that's some shit you don't do all right I'm not trying to victim blame the victim. But that's some shit you don't do. That's just like taunting somebody to punch you in the face when you know you fuck with them for like a long time. And you fuck with them and fuck with them and fuck with them. And you keep sticking your face out thinking, you're not going to hit me. You're not going to hit me. And eventually, this motherfucker's going to hit you. So I don't know how to um really relay a... um decent response you know 
And the thing with that is that, you know, how do you reply to something like this? You know, if you've never been lonely, if you've always been with the in crowd and you've never um, ever been put down or you've never been where you're like the only one that doesn't fit in, you're the outsider, if you've never been there, you can't relate to Bo Soon Ho. I can relate to Bo Soon Ho because I've been hurt by women a lot. And I mean a fucking lot. And it's not cool to hurt people. If you don't want someone, then you shouldn't take their money. You shouldn't use them and you shouldn't abuse them. And more importantly, especially if you're like 20 years younger than this person, which is why I got I have a 10 year age limit. Um, if you're over 10 years younger than me, you're just a sexual fantasy. If you're 10 years younger than me, you, you, you're about right. 9, 10 years, we're good. 20 years, anything past 15 years is probably too young. And I, again, there's just a sexual fantasy. Have your fantasy and then leave them the hell alone. Because Sugar Babies is basically what this girl was, only she wasn't putting out any sex. She was just um, taunting him with old relationships that she had. And she was still communicating with her ex-boyfriend. And she was dating another man while he was taking her out places and um, spending money, you know. Cause it's a, and then the sad part about this, him trying to have sex with her corpse because he never seen her naked. and it, it just really took a bad turn from day one, you know. Um, she was a nurse, so that's, she was in the medical profession or whatever. But it says here, he admitted to the police on the day that he killed her, he became angry hearing about her going out with another man, and she was still in contact with her former boyfriend in China, whom she had been physically intimate with. So she had sex with her other with her boyfriend, and she may or may not have had sex with another man, but the entire time that she was doing this, he's taking her places, he's spending mad money on this bride. And if anybody's not really too angry about that, then you guys haven't been through some of the shit that me and this guy's been through. Because, like I said, when I got catfished, you know, you can tell me that this beautiful girl wasn't going to come to America and, 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 you know, become my wife and all the BS that she fed me. And see, I was homeless once, and technically I'm still homeless, but I was homeless once. And so I know how it feels to not have something to eat. I know how it feels to not, um, you know, be able to um, do what you need to do. I know how that shit feels. And she used that shit against me. And she didn't know I was homeless once, but she, she fed me the signs of, well, my grandfather's sick. I could use a little bit of money. And my dumb ass, wrote the check. And now I have no money. And she took me for everything I have. And she was living in the Philippines, so whatever I sent there was probably doubled up now. And it um got to the point where then she started asking me for money to get passports and shit like that. And I was like, well, I've sent you all that I have. I've sent you shit that I didn't have. I literally sent one of my entire fucking paychecks from work to her. And I was thinking this whole time that I'm doing this. And this went on for like almost eight months. And I'm thinking this whole time. You know, she's going to come to America, we're going to get married, we're going to get the hell out of my situation that I'm in now, and I'm going to live happily ever after. Well, as the song says, fairy tales are full of shit, alright? There may still be hope for me yet, I will never have the fortune that I lost, unless I get a really, really good job. And I tried to contact Dr. Phil about it, no response, so you know... That kind of sucked because I know Dr. Phil has like some clout, you know. I probably can't get what I gave back, which I'm not going to put here. But, you know, it, it kind of sucks that I had lost my dad, so I pretty much lost all rationale up here. And it um it went into my wallet and my heart and it went to this girl. So this guy, Bo Soon Ho, who killed... uh. Ms. Zhang, I understand. I understand exactly why he did it. 
I personally would never do it. I don't condone it. But I understand. I understand that, you know, the victim is still the victim. I understand that this man is also a victim. And if y'all don't see that, you know, he probably won't get that much time. Because I'm going to tell you right now, as a victim of catfishing and having the same basic scenario happen to me, if I was a judge, I wouldn't give this guy any time. I wouldn't give him any time. I know you're all looking at me. He murdered a young lady. And that is true. I will, I will definitely say that that is true. And sadly, I'm about to victim blame the victim. And I know that it is wrong for me to victim blame the victim. Let me clarify. I know that what I'm about to say is wrong. But also, you have to understand, if you haven't been put in that situation where someone has taken you for every fucking dime that you have, and they're the only one that's excelling in the relationship. They getting all this shit on your back. You're busting your ass day after day. And every time you turn around, they're calling you. I need this. I need that. I need this. And all you want is a kiss. Or one night of lovemaking. And it's no, 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 no. Well, rape is illegal. And in, in, I believe it's illegal worldwide. So he's not raping the girl. You know, he raped her corpse, of course, which I don't condone. That was just fucked up, dude. Some things is hard to walk away from. I, trust me, I know. Some things are hard to walk away from because for me, it's hard as hell to walk away from a fight. But this was a fight that he couldn't win. Well, he could have won if he dumped her like a hot rock. But when you fall in love with people, it's easy for people like me or you or the person who took this report on the outside in to say that this guy was fucking stupid or this guy had this, he deserved this because this is what he gets for being 47 years old, single, and messing with a 28-year-old. Okay, you can play devil's advocate. This girl was stupid because she shouldn't have been playing with this guy's emotions and she shouldn't have um led him down this path knowing full damn well that she was not going to have sex with him and she should not have done that. So they're both wrong. But from where I stand, because I've been through the same damn shit, she was more wrong than he was. I'm sad that it cost her her life, but she should have never got that shit going to begin with. Nurses make fair money around the world. They don't make great money, but they make a fair amount of money. You know, they make enough to sustain sustain themselves unless they're living above their means. And from what I read, you know, you guys can find this, by the way, on um, www dot the star dot com and then it has my I don't know what the hell that means but it's M Y. So you guys can find that, you know, if you guys want to interpret this story. But from where I stand, I'm more towards the why the guy killed her than the actual I mean I'm probably not saying this right. I'm more towards I understand rather why the guy killed her versus um the reason well now nah, that's not right either let's, let's just say that they're both wrong only one of them survived but they're both wrong because as a as a 47 year old man he should have known that this was more than likely to happen i can't talk because in 2015 that's four years ago i'm 46 now 45, 44, 42. So about 42. So I was like 42 years old. Um, You know, I should have known better. The girl also was in her 20s. She We shared pics and stuff. And um, not all um, unpleasant pics. Both ways. And I was hook, line, and sinker. And wherever she is, you know, she will have to upgrade her karma. Her karma, it will come back on her because I didn't do anything wrong. I just did the right stuff for what I thought was the right reason, which was clearly not the right reason. And, you know, this Bosun Hodu, man, you know, if he had, um, 
if he had just walked away or went to the police, this shit probably would have never happened. I'm going to make a third video.